Welcome back to Honey's Adventures in Siberia. Miss, miss, please, uh, excuse me. Yes? You know, I want to apologize for our little misunderstanding. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I brought you a bottle of wine. Marikstadt Sauvignon. Very good year. Let me know what you think. I'm very touched. Thank you. Good luck on your journey, lady. Thank you. Alright, so all's better now. You've come clean and you feel better. We're off to the bandstand. So let's see what we have to do to fix the bandstand. I don't know if this weight on the egg is all it's going to take or if we have to actually go inside and do some repair afterwards. Perfect balance. Well, it looks like we have to go down. <laughs> I can't help but that, that looks like a Dalek from Doctor Who. Very pretty. Well, let's go tell the rectors it's fixed and get our hundred dollars to move the boat. I'll pay the barge people to then figure out how to manually open the locks, I guess. To move the boat. It's still progress. And the professor hasn't called, so no uh, lecture yet. That's the library. This is the rector's. Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. That's what I'm here for. Show me the money, baby. Gentlemen, I have managed to repair your university bandstand. The bandstand is playing again. This is marvelous news. We are really very grateful, very grateful indeed. Yes, very grateful indeed. We will look back on your visit with much fondness in our hearts. And now let us in turn honor our word. How much is it you need, miss? A hundred dollars, if it's not too much to ask. Something about <clears throat> 
We agreed to grant you the aforementioned sum, miss. You may now leave with your train. And while we're on the subject, when will you be leaving? Uh, yes, because now you should relocate your train as quickly as possible. I'm working on it. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Tea time again. But we have the money. There's no point in going to the professor again since he assured us that he's not done studying and he will give it back to us after the lecture. So we're going to have to hear from him for the lecture. Meantime, we want to get over here and give them the money for the barge to tow our train. Here we go. I suspect that rope's going to come into play, probably with our hook. There you go. Here's your money. I've checked it. It's all there. Ah, thank you. Not difficult to get that out. See? You are a real businesswoman. I'm not the only one around here. We <laughs> pleased to do deal with you. Now, you open lock or we no help you. Why didn't you manage to open them? After all, you don't have to be a genius. Ma vor bat pensi no sesto, di kleine madam. No se saye mar alles non comprendo en allora caput en andere bordel. Zir zwar moi. On boom telefonieren, caput caput. My husband say instructions complicated. No understand manual. My husband angry. Very angry. Oh, now telephone broke. Kaput. Now that is annoying. What are you going to do next? We wait repairman. Well, I don't have the time to wait. I'll have to go have a look. There must be some way of releasing the opening mechanism. Take key. Seller always need key for lock. Okay, thanks. Good thing it didn't go in the water. Of course, we did throw the money at them. So now we have the lock key. We'll let that be front and center. And now we're going to know how to do it manually. Well, when I read off that number, I was writing it down. I also wrote down the instructions. Four for bark, stop lock, two for uh, lowering the water, and star to confirm. So I'm assuming that that little keypad is just going to make us put those same things in that we would have put in the phone. Hello? Hey, how's my little baby girl? I was thinking about you only yesterday because I saw this fantastic fur coat. You are wrapping up warm, aren't you? I mean, people in foreign countries never know how to dress properly for the weather. Mom, it's so sweet of you to worry, but I'm fine, really. The trip's a breeze, no worries. I mean, there's... Well, when are you coming back? Frank is dying to meet you. Frank? Oh, yeah, you're a singer. You two seeing each other then? Oh, you'll never guess the surprise he gave me yesterday. No, I suppose I won't. Frank invited me to a big charity show organized by, oh, uh, well, someone or another, uh, anyway. 
they got him singing a couple of old numbers from his repertoire, and in the end, he asked me to go up on stage with him. Can you imagine me, your mother, on stage in front of thousands of people? Wow, I would have loved to have been there. Not too emotional, I hope. Oh, too emotional by far, especially as I hadn't even been to the hairdresser. Well, I didn't even have the proper dress on. But Frank promised me he'd see to that next time. Oh, he's such a cutie. And he's got the sweetest little. <laughs> I'm sure he has, Mom. It would be so good if you could join us one day. Let's see, when is his next gala? I'm so forgetful these days. I swear I'd lose my head if it weren't in the clouds. You just watch out, my girl. Them years will catch up with you much quicker than you think. I'll look out for them, Ma. Nice to hear your voice. Lots of love. Well, to you too, my little munchkin. All right, well, Mom's in better spirits than last time. Well, I guess she was in good spirits talking about Frank. She just wasn't too happy about us cutting her off. So, manual puzzle it is. Pop! There's the key. The instructions are written in a language I don't recognize. Well, the instructions are written in a language I don't recognize. At least they told us in English about how to change it. So let's go with what we entered in on the cell phone. Four for backstop. Two for lowering it and star to confirm. Awesome! Look at that! Instant gratification. And just like that, it's open. Well, let's go talk to the barge people again. Hey there, on the boat. Guten Tag, schöne Mademoiselle. My husband say, hello, young lady. You want to talk to us? Yes, the locks. Right, I've got it. I know now how the locks work. So guide your boat into the lock, and I'll take care of the mechanism. Gott verdomme. Das ist eine echte ladies. Alle toi, range alle dingen, and obligados de dame. Ach, set content. Again. What did your husband say? You, hurry up. We hurry to travel again. Okay, okay. We'll meet each other on the other side. By my train, okay? Yay! They're going. Right, there's our barge. So we lower the water to get them here. Looks like we're gonna need to raise the water to get them through the next. So bark stopped instead of lower. We're gonna wanna raise. Confirm. He looks so tiny. Parallel the train. Going to take a quick break. Hope you watch the next part because the adventure will continue. See ya!